What's going on everybody? Ronnie DiMaggio here, product specialist at BMW of Morristown. Today we're going to be doing a really quick video on this 2023 X7. We have already done a full walk around and overview on the X7, which we'll link to right here if you want to check that out. But this video is just going to focus on the spec that this specific X7 is in because it's a really cool one. If you have a sharp eye, you probably already recognize the color. It is British Racing Green with a full uh, Merino Tartufo leather interior. This car has about $10,000 in options just in paint and interior color. So it's a really, really cool, opulent, classy spec on this X7. So we wanted to show it off for you guys. Uh, we're going to start a new series on our channel with this video. We're going to call them spec checks where we just go over the car, the color combos and the options on these specific cars. And we're starting it off with a good one with this X7 here. So let's talk about the options on this car. As we know, it's individual British racing green. It's a $5,000 option, and it has the full Merino leather Tartufo interior. That's a $4,600 option. So really cool color combo, and it has the full leather dashboard and all that stuff. It's also non-M Sport, which is usually not uh, the way to go in my opinion, but on the X7 in this color with these combos, I think non-M Sport looks really good. It has the parking assistance package. It has the premium package. It also has the climate comfort package as well as captain's chairs in the second row and an Alcantara headliner. So really, really luxurious spec on the X7. Let's take a look at the front end. As you can see, it is non-M Sport. That gives you these satin silver elements around the grill, which looks really nice, contrasts beautifully with British Racing Green. And then if we look a little bit lower in the bumper, we can see that same satin silver down in the side air inlet areas looks really nice i think the silver accents complement british racing green better than a black accent would uh, and as you guys know british racing green is a non-metallic color there's no metallic flake in it so the satin and then the sort of non-metallic uh, british racing green looks super nice let's come around to the side of the car we can take a look at the wheels again not an M Sport car, so we don't have the painted brake calipers or anything uh, like that, or the M branded brake calipers, but a really nice looking wheel. It is a 21. Pretty uh, common wheel choice on the 23X7. Looks really nice. And as we come around to the side of the car again, you can see we have more silver around the windows. We have the silver on our roof bars and the little chrome strip going all along the bottom side of the car. So, like we said, just a really classy spec on this particular X7. British Racing Green, as most of you probably know, is one of the longest standing, like most um, long standing colors in the entire automotive world. All the way back to the early 20th century, cars have been painted in this shade of green. It's changed a little bit, the color combos uh, changed a little bit, but it's really common on BMW individual cars like this one is. Uh, we see it on paint to sample cars from other manufacturers, so really common color for good reason. It's really cool. Looking at the back of the car, more satin silver as part of the luxury line, the non M Sport. So we see that down here in the diffuser area, which matches the grill and the front air inlets, chrome exhaust tips, uh, chrome strip between the taillights, and a really cool accent that stands out especially in cars like this is the chrome strip on the sides of the bumpers there there's a lot of bright work on this car the chrome and the satin silver which is not super common on cars nowadays everything's always kind of blacked out uh, m sport shadow line m sport professional all the black stuff uh, this car kind of bucks the trend a little bit with the british racing green and the satin silver and chrome which looks really cool so that's the exterior let's hop inside real quick we'll go over the full Tartufo Merino leather interior, which is really nice. And we'll talk about some of the uh, options on the inside as well. All right, so hopefully you guys got a good look at the British Racing Green individual paint. Let's go ahead and hop inside the X7, or I should say, let you guys hop inside the X7 to take a look at the Tartufo full Merino leather interior. It's a $4,650 option. Like I said, that British Racing Green exterior is $5,000. In tandem, we have almost $10,000 in just colors and leather, which is 
uh, pretty unique for BMWs. Generally, people don't go for the full leather or individual paints, but this one has both, uh, which looks really nice. You can see the Tartufo leathers are really rich, uh, somewhere between like a peanut butter and a chocolate colored leather. Looks really nice. And if we take a look at the floor mats, we can see that those are also trimmed in Tartufo leather around the edges. There is leather everywhere in this car. You can see it on the lower dashboard area, around the headlights and uh, the steering wheel and the center console and all that. We have stitched leather around the center console. All looks really good and just adds to the kind of feeling of opulence in the inside of this particular X7. If we take a look at the back of the X7, you'll see that this particular one has captain's chairs. Also, of course, trimmed in that same Tartufo leather with the kind of diamond stitch on the back of the seats and a really cool diamond stitch on the front seat backs, like those seat back pockets. Uh, it also has the climate comfort package, so you have heated rear seats. You also have heated third row seats and five zone climate controls. So uh, the two front rows, each passenger has their own climate zone, and then the third row passengers have their own climate zone as well. So really nice place to be, especially with the captain's chairs, just kind of has that executive feel in the back. We have our full suite of sunshades and things like that as well, uh, which you would expect on an X7. This car also has uh, the premium package that gives you a Harman Kardon and gesture control, which you would want. And if we take one more look inside, you can also see the Alcantara headliner. That is a $1,000 standalone option uh, which in kind of combination with the Tartufo Merino leather um, just feels very high-end, very premium on the inside of the X7. But that's going to do it for our quick look around the interior and for our quick video on this X7 in British Racing Green. Hopefully you guys enjoyed checking out the color combo and the spec on this car. All in all, it comes out to 95, 195. Not too bad for an X7 that has a full individual composition, interior and exterior. It has all the important options. You have parking assistance, you have premium, and you have uh, the climate comfort package. So it has all the like must have options in my opinion with nothing kind of superfluous. And it has a really cool and classy color combo. So this is an awesome X7. I would definitely drive this one in particular. This is pretty close to how I would want my own X7 spec'd out if I were to get one. So super cool spec on this one and we're glad we were able to share it with you guys so thanks so much for watching that will do it for this one please go ahead and follow us on our other social channels instagram facebook and tiktok at bmw of morristown uh, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video and like the video if you think we deserved it uh, but that's going to do it for this one thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one